today. Well, this is a collaborative effort between local, state, and federal government to do a hunter checkpoint along eastbound I-70, uh, just east of Idaho Springs. And they're here at a CDOT chain-up station to stop anybody who's hunting in the state of Colorado to, to get biological samples and then also to determine if they have uh, obtained their game legally. Uh, we were contacted by Colorado Parks and Wildlife this summer to determine if we could deploy a band class 14 network because the commercial carrier cell coverage in this area just along the curve over from Idaho Springs it be becomes uh, diminished or degraded a little bit. So what we've done here is we've deployed a uh, miniature standalone LTE network that has a complete EPC E node B and some IMS uh, elements. It also has a 802.11 AC or N uh, Wi Fi hotspot. This is the system that we're talking about. As you can see, it's very small. This is a complete network solution in a box. We're running three separate tight communications channels because we have so many people involved over 200 people in nine agencies. So to be able to have good communications between those groups is vital, and our radio capacity isn't enough. So we need to be able to do that with our cell phones as well and then to be able to go in and have our computer access. Uh, for something like this, we have such a huge database that we're putting together with all of the hunters and fishermen who are having come through, probably thousands by the end of it. To be able to have the capacity to download all that information, know the number of people, if we had any violations, what type of animals we had coming in, where people are from, the success across the state, all of that's gonna be compiled and we'll be able to pull it real time so we can report back and tell what's happening across the state. To have some devices that we can make our contacts with and have that record somewhere other than chicken scratch in our, in our shirt pocket would go a long way. Then we can have that database to go back to to look at our contacts for future investigations. We'd be able to say we, we saw a Chevy pickup. Uh, we can then use that to, to go into our hunting license database, CCIC, NCIC, any of those things so we can put it all together for investigations or even lost hunters and things like that. We thought Band 14 would be uh, a great network to support this sort of use case. Uh, the use case being that we have lots of the general public coming through this area over the next 36 hours and they will be using the commercial carrier networks and we wanted a secure dedicated network for Parks and Wildlife and their other law enforcement partners to support the activities. It's been designed for ease of use, ease of operation, for public safety individuals specifically, but also for other uh, areas uh, of interest. And it's meant to keep the public safety people being their responsibilities, being police officers, uh, enforcement people, and not having to be IT professionals.